Hey, this is Troy Taylor with Total Pole Sports here with the Ball Coach K. I with Coach Ball. Coach Ball, can your rivals make you better? Well, let me tell you this. If you guys tuned in last night, you saw exactly what that is all about. You had the angry Redskin fan versus Jim Tim and just a vintage, vintage rivalry. These guys were somewhere around Hogan Flair. It was magic. It was Bird. It was Dallas. It was Washington. It was vintage. It was exactly what rivalries are about. And let me tell you this, Coach. If your rivals are not making you better, what is making you better? I pose that question right back at you. Show me a clip of uh, uh, of some rivalry since we're talking about it, if you could. Right. Yeah. But yeah, that was uh, that was just straight fire last night. I think you you, you caught it uh, right at the right moment. You got two guys that uh, really don't care about each other a lot. You know, you got two guys from definitely different necks of the woods, you know, um, him, uh, Jim, Tim representing the Rochester area, New York. And then, uh, angry Redskin fan. Is he a, an original, uh, Virginia guy? It's, it, it kind of sounds like he, he's from Meadowbrook from the Meadowbrook district. Okay, cool. Yes, yeah. Is. Right there on the yes, South side of Richmond, Virginia. Yeah. So, uh, yes, yeah, there was a lot of heat between there there was there was some quietness but uh to me it was kind of it was vintage uh you know calm like a bomb like i was ready for those guys to really uh you know get after it i i thought a push-up contest i was trying to trying to get that to go because it was such a tight fight the whole way i mean it was blow for blow those guys were going at each other and uh yeah i was kind of rooting for a push-up contest to kind of end it but uh, we still we got a fantastic finish, and I'm looking forward to the uh, the next trivia, man. I wish we could just, man. I wish we could do this every single day, you know. Yeah, you know their availability is limited, but next time I can get them on, we will. And I'm just getting this thing set up, Coach. And then we're if gonna I could. If I could give a shout out, I got some breaking news right now. Yeah. A uh, amazing friend of mine and a, a great guy that you know as well, uh, Coach Lee Spickerman, aka Coach Lee, aka Coach Buddy Lee, has uh, taken the the job with the Salem Church Cowboys. He will be running the Pee Wee League football team, and I could be I could not be more proud of this guy. This guy is just a, a, a coach that loves his kids. He believes in toughness. Uh, he, he's cut from the same cloth as, as we are. And the first time I played football was at the Pee Wee League level uh, uh, under Coach Mike Harefield. So I'm, I'm proud of him. I just wanted to give him a shout out. But, uh, yeah, man, let's get to some of those uh, some of those rivalries. And, you know, last night it was just – you, you did. You caught uh, – you, you, you caught a genie in a bottle last night, I believe. It was vintage Manning Brady, you know. Yeah, these guys, they, they were great. It was, it was uh, you know, Red Sox, Yankees, man. It's 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 what you want to see when you see a rivalry, you know. Yeah. When, when teams uh when teams or players don't like each other, it's must see TV, and that's exactly what that was last night. Uh, kudos All right, kudos to those coach, guys, here you man. Go, coach. Yeah, let's see it. There you go. Oh, yeah. Coach? Yeah, man. That's great. That's exactly what it was, man. It was two guys pushing themselves to the limit the exact same way that Magic and Bird did. You know, Two guys from two different areas. I mean, you got the Hick from French Lick, Indiana, mm -hmm. and then you got Magic Johnson from Flint, Michigan, and they are completely different. They don't look the same. They don't talk the same. They're not from the same areas, and they hated each other. But then they finally, after many years, became friends. I don't know if Jim Tim, a.k.a. Coach Cyborg, or the Angry Redskins fan will ever become friends. 
Uh, you know, I totally agree with that, man. As a guy that's done bouncing security work the whole, uh, you know, his whole career, you know, I think it's the type of deal where if you get those guys in the same room, you want to have uh, you want to have some people in between them from the yeah. beginning. You know, well, we have you and we have Coach Hutch. He's the jiu-jitsu uh, specialist, and he yeah. specializes on he specializes on restricting the blood flow that yeah. will create. Uh, you know, someone get knocked out. Yeah, right. man. Maybe. Yeah, yeah I think you do. Trying to get to our next one. Yeah, vintage, vintage rivalry right there. But yeah, man, I think you know you, you kind of see if we can't get those guys to sit at other ends of the table. You know, so you got the table in between them. You got me and coach there. You know, to make sure. You know, uh, you know, and we limit what's on the table. We don't want to have any water, or any bottles, anything they can throw at each other no. because. Uh, you know, you got some loose cannons, it seems like to me. There you go. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. What about that? Were there were there two bigger stars in the pro wrestling industry from the 1980s up to the year 2000 with those two guys? You know, you got Nature Boy Ric Flair from Charlotte, North Carolina. Woo! And then you got Hollywood Hulk Hogan. From California. Where was he built from in California, Coach? Venice Beach. Venice Beach, California. And now, you know, the coolest part is both of those guys are uh, here in the uh, Tampa Clearwater area. So, uh, so yeah. And, that, and I, a little fun fact here. Hogan has a uh, – Hulk Hogan's uh, shop where you can go. You can send your cards there and get them autographed. Uh, you can go in there and buy some good merch. And then they have a uh, Hulk Hogan's kind of a uh, a bar right down the street where they got good food and everything. But every Monday night, almost every single Monday night, he's there and he hosts uh, karaoke. And, Is he uh, in good and he's health? One of the judges, I believe. You know, there was some uh, rumors about him not being able to feel his legs or something like that. Uh, I don't know where that came from. I saw another video where he was up and walking and stuff like that. Uh, you, you know, you, you never know with a lot of these uh, pro wrestlers, man. Uh, you know, breaking news last night was uh, Jerry the King Lawler had a stroke. So he's Ooh. back in the hospital. So, yeah, if you guys are uh, watching, please uh, send your thoughts and prayers out to the king, man, because he was uh, pretty much the king of Memphis, man. He was like, uh, you know, Elvis, but in, in the wrestling business. You know what I mean? Man. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure about Hawk completely. But I don't think it's as is it's as bad as it is it uh you know originally was. But you know those guys they, they you know they have so so many surgeries over time. You know oh look at that that's a that right there has always been uh, a fight to the death right there in the National Football League, vintage Dallas Washington. And to me, that'll always kind of be Redskins, Cowboys. I know they changed the name, but the rivalry will still remain the same. The hate will always be there, I believe, between those two. Yeah, angry Redskin fan, he's upset about the name change. But that's the Cowboys and the, versus the Indians. Yeah, I mean, the yeah, cops yeah. versus the robbers. The good guys versus the bad guys. And you know, I guess it determines whose side you are on determine who the bad guy is and who the good guy is. But That's that true. rivalry was started by George Allen. George yeah. Allen found a team to hate. And I guess it only made sense to hate America's team. Yeah, you know, without a doubt. Without a doubt. He did a good job of uh, convincing everybody about that. And it's, it's a rivalry you always got circled on your calendar. I used to love when they would play on Thanksgiving, you know what I mean? For me, that was just like must-see TV, you know? Yeah. Food, family, football, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, but, Coach. Uh, yeah, All right. man. We got, we got one, one more here, and th this is a rivalry a lot of people don't know a lot about, and I just recently shared this with you. Is this rivalry right here? Yeah, we probably need to watch this clip. Oh my, coach! I don't know if we can, coach. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. You're right. There I don't they know are. If we can with these guys. Look at these guys. These guys hate each other. You want to talk a little bit about what you've learned about these two guys, coach? 
Well, I know the Iron Sheik is one of the baddest dudes in the world. Uh, there was one time where he was going to go in there and break the leg of uh, Mr. T just because he wasn't in the business. And also, uh, he was going to do the same thing to Ultimate Warrior. They wanted him to break uh, Ultimate Warrior's leg at one time just because he wasn't uh, listening to anybody else in the business. But uh, this particular situation is going to have to be something I got. I got to send back to you because you definitely got more knowledge on this as well. well they, they just they, they dislike each other. There's a genuine dislike and this a is, lack of respect between these two individuals. This is Beetle a little bit Juice of Iron Sheik, right? Yeah, I mean, some it. of the best comedy you could ever watch. Iron Sheik. What is it called? Where Iron Sheik just starts going crazy in the business. I think that's just chic being chic, man. You yeah, know, I think that's being just chic. chic being chic. Yeah. So Howard Stern put these two individuals together, kind of like Totem Pole Sports has brought together Coach Cyborg and Angry Redskins fan. And this is the rivalry that will live in infamy. But can your rivals make you better? Coach, who are some of your rivals? Uh, you know what? The, the, the man in the mirror is the biggest rivalry. You know what I mean? I, I, I like to, uh, I, I just always want to be the best version of myself. You know, I have an amazing wife, so I want her to have the best version of me. And so that is definitely, uh, my biggest rival, you know, uh, you know, go, going through the ranks and stuff like that in, 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 in sports, you know, in high school, being there at Bird, it was it was Huguenot, it was Thomas Dale. You know, those were the teams that were really loaded back then and you wanted to perform well. Uh, you know, there's some guys at Manchester I kind of didn't 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 have didn't like uh very very much uh as well. You know, love the program, love what they got going on now, but you know, I, I'm a type of guy that I like to live in the moment, you know. And uh, so, so, so those are guys. When I was at Lakewood uh, Jesuit High School uh, there in Tampa, you know, we went there and, you know, we we had like a tiny little speaker box at our place. These guys had the surround sound systems and their weight room looked like something you'd see in the college weight rooms as where, you know, ours at the time was, you know, prison yard workouts kind of. So yeah. when we got there, man, that was automatically a rival of ours. Uh, Robinson High School, where Hulk Hogan went. You know, that was a school in, uh, you know, that South South Tampa district, which is uh, right, right by the Air Force Base. So you get a lot of tough kids there. And uh, that that was a team that I loved facing those guys. Uh, the big rivalry here is, is uh, Gibbs and St. Pete High. Uh, but, but uh, you know, recent past, Lakewood has done really good against those guys in football. And, you know, to me, the rivalries are the games that are tight. Uh, you don't have one team running away with it, you know, so many years in a row. So, so that's kind of my that's kind of my philosophy on a rivalry. You're you you know you don't want to be one sided. A one sided affair is not a rivalry to me. It's not a rivalry. So let's talk about the rivalry between illness slash sickness and cultivate wellness. Who is going to win that rivalry? Yeah, you know. Uh, like I, like I said before, you know, we're in a time where, you know, you, you go see your doctor and they're just going to give you medicine instead of giving you the hard truth, you know, and the yeah. hard truth sometimes is that you need to get more steps in your life. Maybe that you need to cut back on some bread or you need to cut back on some potatoes or, you know, fried food. You need to cut back yeah. on stuff like that. And, you know, people's feelings get so hurt sometimes over things that could save their lives that they're not willing to uh, adjust and hold themselves accountable. And so with uh, Cultivate Wellness, we have products for you that will help you uh, get off of those medications that will help better your lives. And, you know, not just for us, but for our animals, anxiety, you know, there's there's no worse issue than when you're having an anxiety attack and you feel like your world is crumbling and there's no way to get out. We have the supplies here. We have the topicals. We have the shoes. We have plenty of different. We have drinks, you know, so give us a shot. Check out the website. Place your order and uh, let them know, man. Totem Pole Sports sent you. Yeah, CultivateWellness.com. 
health is wealth. We are the low man on the totem pole, and the low man always wins. Coach Ball, Coach Taylor, we got a big day. We got Chris Beatty coming on later tonight, the receiver coach for the San Diego Chargers, L.A. Chargers, the California Chargers, until they move again. This morning, we have the strength coach from Loganville High School, Dan Mullen. Yeah. The dude was an assistant at the Cincinnati Bearcats. He's getting ready to come on. All right, so check us out. Stay with Total Ball. We'll have a trivia coming up soon when I can get uh, Jim Tim. Or is it Tim Jim? I think it's Jim Tim back on the show, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Great show, guys. Thank you for watching.